Welcome back to WTF. It's the show that aims to take a deep dive in some of the acts performing across festival season 2020. In today's episode, we're looking at Fever 333. They're a rap rock trio. Trio from California, United States of America. If you've never heard of them before, hopefully this video will help answer the question, who the f*** are Fever 333? Jason, Stephen and Eric are the three members that make up Fever 333. They're from Inglewood, California, United States of America. Genre-wise, they're described as rock rap, rap core, rap metal, hardcore punk, trap metal. They have a bit of a Rage Against the Machine thing going on. They're certainly kind of political in their, in their approach. Definitely influences from bands like Bring Me The Horizon. Also have a very Linkin Park influence, I think. I'm gonna add in Head P.E., an amazing new metal band from the mid noughties Feels just good talking about them. I love Head P.E., fun. Go and check them out if you wanna have a bit of new metal in your life. They formed in 2017 after performing a series of high-energy, politically charged shows to spread their name. Initially signing with Travis Barker's More High Hat Records, performing records like Hunting Season, Walking In My Shoes, and We're Coming In. These records were all taken from their debut EP, Made in America, in 2018, which was followed up by the standalone single, Trigger. In late 2018, they released a remix of the record, Made in America, which featured a verse from rapper Vic Mensa, an upgraded music treatment from Travis Barker. That EP was released on both Roadrunner Records and 333 Records Crew. Roadrunner is a subsidiary of Warner Music, so not like a an indie record label or anything. Other artists include Corey Taylor, Creeper, Dinosaur Pileup, Corn, Higher Power, and Slipknot. In November 2018, they announced they would go on to serve as the main support act for Bring Me The Horizon across their European shows, and at the end of the year, re received their first Grammy nomination in Best Rock Performance for Made in America. And at the end of the year, released their upcoming single for their latest album, Burn It, their most popular record on 2.2 million hits on YouTube. In early 2019, they debuted Strength in Numbers. That's with the, the three, the E's at the end of numbers are three threes, numbers, which features records Animal. And the Japanese release would feature both records, Triggers and the upcoming sing standalone single, Vandals. <laughs> In June, they would go on to collaborate with the incredible Poppy on the record Scary Mask. We covered this at length last year in the Poppy video. Highly recommend going and checking that out. And in October, the album track One of Us would get the remix treatment from Goldhouse. In November, they released the standalone single Kingdom. And in December, lead singer Jason would go on to feature as a vocalist on the record Blow Me by the incredible emo band The Used. <laughs> would love to do a WTF episode about The Used. Should have started it a year earlier. But what have got it? And last month, in March 2020, they released their newest single, Presence is Strength. This is their second time playing Reading and Leeds. The first time was in 2018, playing the pit stage, sharing with the yeast. Just talked about that. And this year, they're set to play the pit once again, headlining the Sunday at Reading, Friday at Leeds, clashing with probably uh, Reggie and the Machine. My guess would be they'll close that early. I don't think they'll be putting Fever 333 up against Rage Against the Machine. That would be silly. But they're getting supported by Creeper, who we'll, we will be covering in his WTF episode. I'll be completely honest with you. They're not a band that I'm particularly excited about watching that Sunday evening anyway. 
anyway is just dangerous territory. If I'm going to be leaving the main stage or the Radio 1 stage, it's to go see sports team. But apart from that, it's just between the two because, oh, there's so much going on. What do you think? Are they a band you're excited to see this year's festival? Have you seen them perform before? Are you a fan of their music? Let me know in the comments section below as always. And I will see you in the next one. Cheers. Bye.